Phuket is a huge entrepreneur hub. And when we moved here, we didn't know that. And everybody here is super into crypto and we've met a ton of friends who are doing a really crazy but amazing projects here in the metaverse and crypto space. And so when one of our friends said that he's going to a crypto conference here in Phuket, we said, we want to go too, let's do it. And so we committed, except it was two days before our US trip, which means that we're going to be attending three conferences in two weeks, two of them in the US, which is really insane. So in this video, we're going to share our first crypto conference, what we learned from it, and you'll see us packing and getting ready for the US and all the chaos that goes with it. So stay tuned. Weekends are for family. I rarely work on the weekends, but because of this conference, I decided to take my kids to the beach early in the morning, just enjoying our snack boxes and taking long walks on the beach and watching those crashing waves. This is the best part of living in Phuket. And we're here, we just got to the conference. This is our first crypto conference, which should be pretty interesting. So what did you learn from the crypto conference? Okay, I learned that nobody quite fully knows what Metaverse is <laughs> uh, or what it's going to look like. Events in the Metaverse are going to be big. Concerts and other public events are going to be huge. Uh, recently, Travis Scott did a concert in Fortnite, which did crazy numbers. And that was just, that's just going to be the beginning. And it's going to be a very normal thing for people to go to concerts and shows using their VR headset or just on their computer or whatever and these will be legit you know big production events that yep. will happen in the metaverse online with an NFT with or without NFT NFT could be underlying technology by, by then like we'll get to a point where most people don't know what NFT is or they don't care they don't care what the underlying technology is they just care about the experience they get just like right now you don't need to know how a car engine works to be able to enjoy driving your car. Sure. That's the point we'll get to one day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hungry. What are you eating? Pork belly, chicken, hot thai, and some noodles from the so hungry for the conference. And we got some treats in the watermelon. Mm -hmm. This is our usual place. So we go, get over here before the conference. And it is cheap, delicious. Yesterday we were late, so today we're super early. Nobody here. <laughs> but it's good. It's good to be early. Early bird gets the worm. Here in traditional business, my first job, I'm selling dairy products. Of course, if you look at the most, uh, your right should be the quarter one. It dropped because of the bear market. You know, um, pieces and you know, in-game roll and things like that. That's when it started coming out and people realized that. How was the conference? Pretty interesting, you know, few organizational moments. <laughs> yeah, the host did not like speak English very well. It was two girls and it was really difficult to understand, but the speakers, the presenters were amazing. The panel was pretty yeah, good. I think they were a little confused with the slides. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think they were well prepared. It wasn't very organized. The whole thing wasn't very organized, but we are on a lunch break, obviously at BK because why not? YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> it's close by, it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's so hungry. Interesting. Can I open it? Yeah, just open it. How are the other glasses? Oh, it's actual full-on headset.
leaving at the conference early. Gotta go pick up the kids, but Dimitri's gonna stay for the rest of the conference and we'll regroup later tonight. See how I look after it. What is that? <laughs> what are you eating? It's been an extremely long day and here we are 8 p.m. going yeah. to a networking We're event. We're almost cryptoed out. Almost. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I always want to just go home and go to sleep right now, but <sighs> let's do this. This networking event was hosted by a real estate company and they own this condominium. So this condominium is pretty unique in the sense that you have to buy an NFT in order to own one of the apartments or one of the condos. And that's pretty strange, right? I've never heard of this before, but it's so cool. And this party itself was pretty amazing. I mean, look at the lights, look at the tables, the food spread, and the DJ. Everybody here is involved in the crypto space. And the most common question that was asked here was, what's your project? What are you doing? And everybody's sharing all these cool stuff they're doing in the metaverse and what they're doing with their NFT projects. And I feel a little bit lost because we don't really have anything going on. We're just trying to learn. So we're definitely one of the major newbies in this space. But the party was pretty cool. I mean, look at this spread. Yes, that is a roasted pig and paella and crab and lobster and steak. And they had a full open bar. But we didn't really eat or drink very much because we're just so tired by this time. I think it's like 9 p.m. We're just exhausted. And we're trying to be energetic and talk to people and network. But again, it was exhausting. After a long weekend at the conference, we are gonna take it slow and do mindless stuff today. Since we're leaving to the US tomorrow, we're gonna to go to the mall, buy some souvenirs for our friends and family, and just pack. Maybe do a tiny bit of work, but that's it. My brain is, it's fried. I need a break, so that is what we're doing. Are you ready, Baba? Ready to go? Mint tea. We got everybody Crocs for kids and cheap house shoes, and then trying to get a cap for my dad because he wants a cap. <laughs> what do you think? Perfect dad cap. <laughs> the true dad himself? Yeah. Yeah, I think he liked this. It's pretty simple. Salted egg salmon skin. Should we get this? It says dangerously addictive. No idea what it is, but. We are looking at snacks. We got this one. It's the Lay's popcorn brand. It's chips, but it tastes actually pretty good. It's quite And then my friend told us about this one, which is a sweet potato chips. Pretty delicious. So we got the random like snacks. I, mean, I don't know what this thing is, but can we just pick it out? It's some kind of like, what is this? 
I don't know. I haven't tried it, but it looks promising. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, and this is like a very popular Thai. Oh, these I like. It's pretty good. Yeah. The, I don't know, wafers? Wafers? Yeah, chocolate wafers. Yeah. We also got some Thai, Muay Thai boxing shorts and some souvenirs. And I found these super cute little babies in my niece. How adorable is this? I think it's a little big in size, but it should be okay. Got some bathing suits and more bathing suits for my little nephew. I don't know this is useful. It's a little small, I think, right? Yeah. You want to get a bigger size. What size is that? I like this gun. They all seem to be short. I think it's the back, baby. Really. Huh? That's no, the back. The Are you sure? Yeah. It's the front. Um. You know what? If I do, I want to bring this, bring back these sweaters, these, these oh. jackets that I have. Even this jacket that you brought here, you never wore once. Yeah. You thought it was gonna be so cold in Thailand? No, it wasn't because I thought it was cold in Thailand. I thought we were travel the world, the different countries. So I've had all weathers. So I want to get rid of all these jackets. I think that would happen. Whatever. Yeah. We're leaving tonight, so we gotta pack and get rid of all this stuff. Actually, I don't even have any clothes to even like bring it to Vegas. I don't know why I'm like in decision fatigue right now. I have five shirts. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Just bring an empty suitcase. Okay. Done. Show me what you're doing. <laughs> you fit. This suitcase goes inside this suitcase. <laughs> if you want, you want to go three levels deep? Oh, snaps! Oh, like this. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I think you you figured it out. Uh, this is really to reduce our suitcase usage. It's apparently. like the Russian mother of the goals. <laughs> okay. One is sitting yeah. But with suitcases. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it works, Papa. Good job. Good job, Papa. Good night, baby. Have a good nap. <laughs> what are you doing now? Leave me alone. I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm here now. Otherwise, if I don't nap, I'm not going to function tonight at midnight. Okay. It's driving me crazy. I'm going to nap. Okay, let's just let's just say for the record, what time is it right now? Know, like 30 1 30 p.m. <laughs> what time are you waking up? 3.30. Yeah, I mean, a two hour nap. That'd be good. I can last till like 2 a.m. today. Okay. My kids go to bed, so I'm good. Okay. Leave me alone. Okay, good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Yeah. 